celebrity interview moments, I think about at least once a week, part 28. Julie Dedge tried to tell a story about you and her at Buckingham Palace. Mm. In the throne room? Yes. Yeah. It was a very posh occasion. I can yes. imagine. I was sitting next to the Queen's late sister, Vanessa Kirby, uh, Princess Margaret. <laughs> The banquet was over and you were free to go around and there was a sound of music playing. You know, perhaps there was a dance going along. So Judy and I uh, went along the corridor and into what we both felt was a vaguely familiar room. And we had a little twirl around the room and nobody else there. I said, I think this is the throne room. You know, where you got made a dame and I got made a knight. And, you know, the two thrones for the Queen and her consort. I said, but where are they? She said, I don't know, let's have a look. So... We, we, we went on dancing round, <laughs> round the corner and found ourselves behind the band. And there, behind this sort of partition, were, were the, the thrones. So we sat on them. <laughs> it brings out the worst in you, Buckingham Palace. I was do, doing an event there, a, a sort of part of a concert, and I was given a dressing room, which was, was, a, was a guest room, at the front of Buckingham Palace. And you looked out of the window, and you were right next to the... Um, the, the bulk, the yeah, bulk. Yeah. I thought, well, I could just go out there and have a fang. So <laughs> I, 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 and, I, and there I am, looking down the mar. <laughs> and suddenly there's a minor t searchlight on me, and b below there's a policeman saying, Sir Ian, don't forget you're in Buckingham Palace. <laughs> <laughs> About six months later, I'm going along to get a medal on this occasion, and as we came through the gates, there was the same policeman. He said, oh, not you two again. 